are widely used in the production of many articles in everyday use. Chemical science has added a great deal to our happiness and comfort. important part in making us self-reliant depends on a continuous flow of new technologies. To encourage research and to make our scientists technologically capable, government has established a chain of research laboratories under the Council of Scientific and Industrial Research. First in this chain was the National Chemical Laboratory, inaugurated by Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru in January 1950. Its campus, covering 475 acres, is situated on a breezy plain on the western outskirts of Pune. The purpose of the NCL is to advance knowledge and to apply chemical science for the good of the people. Research programs at NCL are drawn up largely to meet our country's socio-economic and industrial needs and priorities. Through informal seminars, scientists at all levels fully share in identifying problems and selecting projects. Research proposals are drafted after extensive discussions among the scientists. They are then submitted for the consideration of a committee of senior scientists and technologists who vet them and clear them for implementation. This committee meets as often as is necessary to review progress and to initiate new programs of research. The committee includes, besides senior scientists and technologists from NCL, several leading experts from industry in both the public and private sectors, together with representatives of sister laboratories, universities and the policy-forming wings of government. To keep in touch with world trends in chemical research and technology, NCL has a well-furnished library of 60,000 books, journals and periodicals devoted to chemical sciences. NCL has a well-equipped glass-blowing section which can make complicated glass units to exacting designs. Modern research calls for a ready supply of sophisticated and specialized glass apparatus. Technology transfer demands a pilot plant laboratory capable of being adapted to different chemical processes. NCL possesses such a laboratory, 
Here, scale-up studies or investigations of areas of uncertainties are conducted for the purpose of collecting additional data on process know-how, design, engineering and fabrication of commercial plants. Other basic facilities needed for research are mechanical, electrical and civil engineering services. NCL's up-to-date mechanical workshop helps to fabricate, to install and to maintain equipment and pilot plants. NCL also possesses a complete range of modern analytical tools such as nuclear magnetic resonance spectrometer, mass spectrometer for structural elucidation and for standardizing reaction parameters, processes and products. After thorough investigation, the processes and design data are licensed to interested entrepreneurs for commercial exploitation. The contributions which NCL has thus made to the establishment of India's commercial production are already valued at 5 crores of rupees a year and are expected within a few years to exceed 10 crores. The petrochemical sector of the chemical industry produces the basic materials for plastics, rubber, drugs, dyes, fibers and pesticides. NCL has in hand several projects for research on petrochemical downstream products. This is an age of plastics, the products of which are used both in home and factory. NCL has an ambitious program for developing newer plastics, resins and elastomers. NCL know-how on nitrile rubber has been licensed for commercial exploitation and various types of oil resistant sealants based on nitrile rubber are being produced for aircraft. NCL has already transferred to industry technologies for phthalate plasticizers. These include dioctyl, dibutyl and dimethyl phthalates which give flexibility to plastics and are used in shoes and other molded plastic products and in Rexine cloth. Based on the know-how developed at NCL, a plant is being set up in Bombay for carbon tetrachloride and chloroform, which are required for refrigerants, Teflon and aerosol sprays. Hexachloroethane, used in smoke screens, will be shortly produced by a Pune firm. The success of our green revolution depends greatly on plant protection, for which NCL has technologies for several chemicals. Hindustan Organic Chemicals are setting up a plant based on NCL know-how for chlorobenzene, an intermediate for DDT. Clean drinking water is a primary need of life. Tube well filters developed by NCL are being produced by a firm in Allahabad. Agriculture, which has made a big leap forward with the green revolution, may well expect a still brighter future through the use of the tissue culture technique. In this technique, an ambitious program of research has been undertaken. Whole plants of hybrid cabbage have also been obtained from callous tissue. Through tissue culture studies, virus-free sugar canes have been developed, giving hope of increased sugar yields. Dissolving pulp technology for rayon fibers is available for commercial exploitation. Dissolving pulp is the starting material for the production of viscose filament and staple fiber rayon tire cord, polynosic fibers, cellulose nitrate and other cellulose derivatives. NCL know-how is already assisting the production of many pharmaceutical intermediates and drugs.
Rasayani, Hindustan Organic Chemicals have set up a plant for exploiting NCL technology for acetanilide and intermediate for sulfur drugs. NCL developed the know-how for the vitamin C plant erected by Hindustan Antibiotics at Pimpri near Pune. A process for vitamin B6 is being released for commercial exploitation. Poppy pods are the primary source for opium alkaloids. Morphine, an opium alkaloid, is widely used as a painkiller. The alleviation of pain consumes large amounts of morphine, codeine and thebane throughout the world. The government of India have acquired NCL know-how for establishing at Neemach in Madhya Pradesh an opium alkaloids plant which will increase our country's export earnings. Fragrance is the essence of life. What would our ladies do without it? For synthetic perfumery, NCL has a number of processes, several of which are already in production. Examples are beta-phenethyl alcohol, beta-ionone, and byproducts from turpentine. Sending a man to the moon was made possible through the electronics industry which depends heavily on the continued flow of newer solid-state devices and materials. NCL has undertaken extensive research on solid-state materials and some of its notable achievements are the development of such products as thermistors, ferrites, flexible magnets and photoconducting cells which have already been licensed for commercial production. Thermistors are employed in temperature measurement and control. Ferrites are used in telephones, dynamos and amplifiers, while flexible magnets serve as refrigerator gaskets. Photoconducting cells, which are already under production, are used in such automatic devices as burglar alarms, street lighting and dipping of automobile headlamps. Several analytical instruments, such as vapor phase chromatogram and electron diffraction camera, have also been developed by NCL. The National Chemical Laboratory is conscious of its role in developing the nation's technological capability. Future research will concentrate on petrochemicals, polymers, plant protection chemicals, drugs and pharmaceuticals. NCL plans to serve the common man and rededicates itself to the task of ushering in a brighter future for all our countrymen.